Leaders in Vermilion County are working to get a child advocacy center off the ground. It'll be a place where kids who are survivors of sex crimes can be interviewed and get connected to services. WCI 3's Courtney Bunting joins us from the newsroom tonight. Courtney, it's awful that one of these places have, has to exist in the first place, but how's this going to be different from what was happening in the past? Yeah, absolutely. A very important resource, Paul. It'll be different in the way that children won't go to the, the pol police department to be interviewed, then talk to prosecutors, and eventually communicate with the Department of Children and Family Services. Instead, this center will be a spot where all of those entities can come together. The plan is to use a room in the county's health department building there will be a few employees with the center there at all times ready to talk to children. State's attorney Jacqueline Lacey says it helps that it won't feel like kids are walking into the police department, which can be scary and intimidating. It also means they can avoid telling their story over and over. So it gives you that opportunity to make sure you're working with a team, getting all those details, developing all that information in one one interview rather than going back three or four times. So I think every time you have to interview a child sex victim, you, you know, you could be re-traumatizing them. Lacey is the chair of the board for this center. She says they've been working on it since last January. The pandemic did slow some things down, but they're on track to open it in early March. The county board will be voting tonight on housing the center at the health department in that building. And that's because the center is a nonprofit, so it will function separately in terms of financing from Vermilion County. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Courtney, thanks.